So, Christy, uh, is there any way you can just put into words what this feels like today now that you've made that Olympic team and you're going to be on your way to London in the next month? Um, it's just incredible for us to be finally knowing that we're going, um, for it to be official. It's just an incredible feeling having our names called up and presented to the crowd here. It's just, I can't get over it. It's just an amazing feeling. Now, in gymnastics, I know you have to take everything one step at a time and not get too far ahead of yourself. But now when you look back, at not just the last month or the last year, but the entire journey of getting to the games. What, what, what has been that, what's that been like for you? When did you first get the idea in your head that you'd like to go to the Olympics and then talk a little bit about how, how things went as you, as you focused on that goal? Um, I've wanted to go to the Olympics for a long time. <laughs> And uh, 2008 I had my sights set, but that didn't work out, so after that, um, and after coming back after an elbow injury, that's when I started to reset my sights on the Olympics and going to London, so it was a long journey from there, and I had to work a long way, and I had gone and spent a year at Stanford University, which was incredible, and had um, I had learned so much there, and I'm so grateful for that experience, and coming back from that I also had to work back uh, routines and difficulty so um, that was another step towards London and I, it's just incredible looking back um, how far I've come to be here and it's just amazing to be here now. Now you narrowly missed making the team in 2008 uh, and that obviously was a big disappointment but how do you look at it now in, in retrospect that you've had another four years and now you're going not just as an individual but as part of a team. Um, I think this is this round is going to be so much ex more excitement than if it, if I were to have gone in 2008 because of the team um, experience. Um, competing at Stanford that one year, I learned how fun and how exciting it could be competing as a team and working towards the same goal as a group. And if we could experience that same thing at the Olympics, it'll just be like a dream come true to me. I've got, uh, I guess, one final question for you, and it's probably something that maybe a lot of people don't know, but you've come back from American college gymnastics to compete again at the international level, and not a lot of people have managed to do that. Uh, what what is the the, the 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 problem that holds other people back from doing that, making that switch back from NCAA to international level, and and what have you, how have you been able to to overcome some of those obstacles? Uh, I think I was really fortunate to have been able to do this because um, I had worked out uh, this whole plan with the Stanford coaches before even accepting to go to Stanford. So. Um, it was just the opportunity was there and I was able to take that opportunity and pull through with this so I'm just so happy for that and for other people you know um, I guess they just can't make it back um, or they've already decided that college is what they want to do and they're done with their international career or it's every person's different so I'm just so happy I was able to do this. How about the, the, the difference in difficulty though? Because I guess that's what I've heard, that it's not as difficult in terms of the, the routines you're doing in the NCAA compared to international, and that's, and that's a, a tough thing to come back to. There's, I would say there's still quite a bit of difficulty in the NCAA, and you will see that at the NCAA championships, but um, generally you do sort of uh, tame your routines once you go to college because you're focused more on uh, perfect routines and perfect scores, so uh, it's more about consistency and confidence in your routines and showing off to your crowd and just basically enjoying yourself, so yeah, it, there is a little bit of difference between college and international gymnastics. So for the record then, and you didn't find it a big adjustment to re to regain some of the difficulty that you needed for the international level. Um, for me, it was a little bit of an adjustment coming back, but uh, um, it took a little bit of time. So, I mean, those routines I've been doing for a while still, so I was able to come back in not so much time. And this is the final question. So, uh, what 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 uh, will you be doing now until the first day of the Olympic competition? 
I'll just be working really hard and every day like marking down the days until the Olympics and just uh, going at my routines with that Olympic focus now and just uh, just being like, really excited with what I'm doing. Thank you.